In North America, there is an insect called the cicada. Cicadas, much smaller than my model, by the way, make a delicious lunch for some cultures of human, but also birds and animals. They're an easy lunch as well, because they don't bite or sting, they're not poisonous or camouflaged, they're slow moving and really noisy. Even my lazy cat could catch one. So how are they surviving? Well, cicadas play a number game. All the cicadas' life is spent underground. And then after many years, they come to the surface, they find a partner, they have some fun, they lay some eggs, and then they die. But the incredible thing is that all the cicadas across whole states of the US appear at the exact same time. So Americans will see no cicadas in the area for a long time, then millions in a month, and then nothing again. This is a survival tactic. If they are millions, there's no way the nearby predators will be able to eat all of them. So a healthy proportion survive to create the next generation. It's clever, isn't it? Also, cicadas live an amazingly long time underground, nearly 20 years. This helps them to survive as well, because many potential predators live and die without ever tasting cicada. So when they do appear above ground, um, predators may be surprised and will be cautious about eating them, which buys the cicadas some extra time to reproduce. Now, I think this is really clever, but it gets better. The predator population goes up and down periodically over the years. Now, imagine a cicada colony happens to emerge at the same time as there is a peak in the local number of owls. Then a lot will get eaten. And then, if the few next-generation cicadas appear, for example, 12 years later, they will meet the maximum number of owls again. If the owl's population cycles every 12 years as well, or if it cycles every two, three, four, or six years. In fact, a cicada massacre is guaranteed when the owl cycle is the exact same as the cicadas or an exact subdivision of it. Now, it may seem that the cicadas know their multiplication tables because by far the most common cicadas appear every 13 years or every 17 years. 13 and 17 are prime numbers, so there are no subdivisions. Now, this is smart. Cicadas don't know how to count, though. They're insects. They don't know the multiplication tables. They are, however, a stunning example of evolution through natural selection. They have evolved to survive by hiding underground for a prime number of years and then appearing all at once. So, if you are reborn a defenseless cicadas, then mathematics can really save your life. <laughs>